This is the opening day of the 11th annual USA Hockey Sled Classic presented by the NHL on Hockey TV. I'm Nikolai Busco. Thanks for sticking with us all afternoon as we have a Tier 5 matchup featuring the Seattle Kraken and the New York Islanders. Again, these are teams affiliated with their NHL clubs. They have all the markings and logos. For those unfamiliar with the Islanders program, they have on the crest of their jerseys. Erickson, it's loose. And now it is bunted ahead by Genovese, who might have a clean break down the left side. Genovese still with it. Left circle. Fakes. Gets it around and he scores! Of Di Pietrantonio again. Di Pietrantonio, high slot. Throws it towards the goal. Same by Bono. It comes out the other side. Can't find it. And he scores on the rebound. Down the dot lane. Left wing side. Dawson does find him. But Genovese able to squirt around him. D.P. and Chotonio leaves it for Sweetser, who scores! Dawson has been out there, I think. I don't think he left the ice the entire second period. Gupin and no, they can't. And a healthy collision. Away. I imagine he's had both. Brian Genovese has definitely got what it takes to have the right temperament of this situation. And he's got the puck again. Genovese. Gugliata along the half wall. Back to Genovese. Top of the left circle. Now he'll let it go. It's deflected. Puck is still loose. In front it comes. No shot yet. Score! As Baker looks for it, puts it back in with 43 seconds left. So the Islanders with a solid 45-minute effort, you can call it, in their opening game here. Deutsch gets challenged by Rosser. It's put back behind. Dawson, 25 seconds left. One final pursuit has Mitchell on him. Dawson still with it, has somebody in front of his list and couldn't get it. Now it's back out, high slot, cups, fires a shot, same made by Mertz. Rebound, just eludes Liston. Throw towards the goal again, I'm on a graze the outside of the net. As the crack of the final push here, 10 seconds left. Mertz has it go over his head. It's loose, Dawson tries to knock it in front, it squirts through the crease, and the crack can do everything but score at the end as the Islanders get the shutout. Reyna will go for the draw with Erickson here at center ice. For Seattle, reverse this one, and Cups will go behind the net to take it. 25 seconds left in the power play. Cups against Cotterell. They tie up, now it's taken by Liston. Liston in the corner. Liston walks to the front. Centering try for Rosser, and it goes wide. Baker back to get this. Big opportunity for Seattle. Could be a three on O. Baker throws one at the net. Looks like it hit the side of the net. Reyna with speed. Rosser could beat him to it. What a great play by Jay Rosser to cut him off. Very athletic play by Rosser to actually kick the puck back into the middle of the ice. Good job by Dawson here as Carlisle wipes out. Roughing, actually. Mooney able to dig it out. Kingston tied up there here at the side, and then it is Baker, but it's out of his reach. Rosser wins it off the tie-up. Comes back to Cups. Leah Cups with the puck, angling towards the net, shooting one, and that was blocked. It'll be Candace Duggan taking the face-off for the Avs, and actually losing it to John Erickson. The game is underway from rig number two in the ice vault. Stanley Cup are on display here in Wayne for the Sled Hockey Classic. Shot on, that is in! I was trying to get behind the defense, gathered up. Valdriel ran into by Dawson. Crow with it, Crow cuts through. Crow shot just wide to the... That's actually where the door is to get onto the ice. That founds its way out. Poke free, Rosser trying to generate some speed. Rosser runs it forward. Crow catching up, Rosser Gets overran and caught up to by Crow. Eludes a couple of players. Crow. Still with it over the Hitman logo at center ice. Crow eludes another player. Crow cuts it. Right hand shot. Save made. And they've assessed a two minute penalty for too many players on the ice. Crow gets to this one. Crow backhands it through. Wanted to get it up to Sorensen. It sneaks through both her and Bella Fado. Martinez on it. 
Poked out into free ice by Dawson. Bruce Dawson on the run, looking to generate a shorthanded chance. It's a 2 on 0 Dawson walks in, shot, save made! Gathers at the circle, looks for somewhere to go with it, sends it forward, and coming on the run is Rosser. John Erickson there for it as well. Rosser will generate a little bit more speed and get there first. Rosser backhands it, wanted it at the circle. Erickson was going to the net to the crack in the end of the ice. Not enough steam on it to turn it into an icing though. Dawson will turn, cross his own goal mouth and go forward. Slugs his way forward. 7.30 left to go in the second period. Dawson. In alone, Dawson walks it, shoots it, and scores! Bruce Dawson has scored the first goal in regulation time for the Kraken in this weekend. Puck is dropped and won on the faceoff by Erickson. A couple of great chances on the power play earlier on in this frame. The Kraken have evened up the game on a break-in goal by Bruce Dawson. Shots eight to five in favor of the Avs. Puck jarred free. Dawson running on this one. Dawson will loft the shot on up. Whiffed on the intended clearing pass. Still with it. As Crow with him. Out in front. Sneaks a little bit away from John Liston. Falling down. Kraken are gonna get a break in all alone. Brian Baker. Left by himself. Baker with the puck. Carrying it forward, Baker at the circle, throws it across. They just did that after the half was One done. Left to play and in the we're period. now at the last minute of the second. That nearly found its way through off the stick of Jay Rosser. Boards. Plays this one up top. Cups keeps this one in at the point. Plays it underneath her sled, looks for somewhere to go with it. And for the team to develop, we'll just fling it on towards the net. We have 23.2 seconds left. Kraken win the draw. Back track getting to this one is John Liston. Played it up to the point for Dawson. Dawson's goal came on a breakaway. We'll fling this shot on. And it's in! It's in! He put it over the goalkeeper from the high slot and found its way through with 11.8 seconds. McHale covers it, wanted it for Crow. Buck has slowed down considerably. Dawson there for it. The Avs have to get back on sides. They now have done so. The Kraken allows some time to burn down. Poked over to Rosser. It runs away from him a little bit off the poke of Brian Baker. Rosser will get to this one, overruns the puck. Little guy, but he has jumped into it. It is a, we're gonna have a penalty. Time of the penalty, 5.23 remaining. 5.33 remaining in the third is the time that they are going to award it. Rosser jumps in, it's just behind him. He'll run on it, get to it. Rosser running with it, sends it forward. Sits a little bit one. That's going to be another penalty going against the Avs. And right as the last one was expiring. This will find its way out. The Kraken. With now a minute left on the power play. Haven't gotten to do anything offensively. A couple players crashing in. They're going to get that sorted out and get the movable boards back into their correct position. Bruce Dawson has the two Kraken goals. As the Avs just get back on side, we're coming up on the last minute of play in regulation time. Dawson sitting with it, will carry this puck One forward. One minute left to play we're in down the Down to the last minute, Dawson has both goals today. Dawson will carry forward. Gets around a defender, backhands it forward. Off it in, the Kraken are off sides, but that's not going to matter much. The final couple of seconds will burn out. The Kraken did not score a goal in regulation in their first two games. They get two today and a win.
The Seattle Kraken have beaten the Colorado Avalanche two to one. By semifinal match, if not mistake. Here in tier number five in the USA Hockey Sled Classic in outright in regulation. Like I said, this is the first time the Kraken and the Sabres have matched up, but unfortunately that, well, unfortunately I guess for my Sabres, they play back on November 4th, and the Kraken won that by a score of 5-2. to two. And they'll play again on Monday, November 29th at 7 p.m. Of course, those are the NHL franchises. Ty Miller, that's his third assist, and all of them were to Cross, I believe. Now Cross going after it again. And he gets caught up in the corner. Now centers it over to Stein Miller. Stein Miller winds one up, takes the shot, and he scores. And Daniel's able to keep it in, yes, but just barely. And as Buffalo try to get into the middle. Here's Stein Miller with the shot, goes top shelf, he scores. Dawson gonna come out with it. And now here comes Seattle. They have numbers. It's gonna be a three-on-one. Dawson, continue to and If they stay on side, he's got Rosser over to his left. Lining one up, and he'll take the shot on Waddy, and Waddy will stay in front, making his third save of the afternoon. Let's see if Seattle can stay in here now as they pull their netminder, six on five. I don't know how much longer they'll be able to do that now. It's here comes Daniels the other way. Or rather, it's Cross going over towards that empty net. And he'll drift it in as Buffalo putting the final nail in the coffin there.